Hello students a quick revision of history section today now your paper will be mcq based so here there are three movements in your syllabus that is ncq n non cooperation c civil disobedience q quit india movement so mcq ncq easy to remember this is the order of the three movements that are there in your syllabus So first of all, we'll do what were the reasons for the launch of all these three movements. Non-cooperation movement was launched because of Rowlatt Act. Rowlatt Act, you all know, it was there in one nine one nine by Sir Sidney Rowlatt, which put a restrictions on the freedom of individuals, where anybody could be arrested without warrants, which led to the suspension of the writ of habeas corpus and in camera trial. So people in Amritsar at Jallianwala Bagh. they were protesting against the rollet act so rollet act jallianwala bag and khilafat movement so these are the reasons for the launch of non cooperation movement and reasons for the launch of civil disobedience one is simon commission simon commission which came to in, in india in the year 1928 there were seven members all seven members were british none of them was indian so it was opposed by the indians everywhere wherever they went Lala Lajpat Rai who was protesting against the Simon Commission at Lahore railway station he also died uh, while protesting against it and when our indian leaders they questioned the british so we were challenged to form our own constitution so our nationalist leaders they prepared a report which is known as nehru report and they served an ultimatum to the british to implement that report within a year and the year passed and it was not implemented so in december 1929 The session of Indian National Congress was held at Lahore which was presided by Jawaharlal Nehru where they had decided that the uh, aim of the Indian National Congress objective of the Indian National Congress will be complete independence so on the 31st December he hosted tricolor at the banks of river Ravi and in the January month they decided to celebrate 26 January as independence day and to launch civil disobedience movement so the reasons for the launch of civil disobedience movement simon commission and declaration of complete independence reasons for the launch of quit india movement failure of crips mission for which mahatma gandhi said posited check on a failing bank and threat of japanese invasion during the world war 2 japan had reached burma and mahatma gandhi was really worried that earlier we were a colony of british and later will become a colony of japan so he told britishers to leave india in god's hand so the two reasons for the launch of quit india movement are failure of crips mission and threat of japanese invasion now what were the years in which these movements were launched so remember one year jallianwala bagh 1919 so exactly after year of jallianwala bagh non cooperation movement was started so the very next year is 1920 so after a decade of the launch of non cooperation so non cooperation was launched in the year 1920 so after a decade means 1930 so 1930 is the year of launch of civil disobedience movement so when non cooperation movement was launched mahatma gandhi has told the people that if you will follow the path of non violence we can achieve independence in a year but one year passed and we were not able to get it and again the another year where people lost their patience and they put a police station on fire at gorakhpur that is in uh, up chauri chaura so afterwards mahatma gandhi suspended this movement so this movement continued only for two years so this movement suspended in the year 1922 so after the suspension of non cooperation year if you add two decades two decades after the suspension of non cooperation so two decade of the suspension means plus 20 so 1922 was suspended so plus 20 is 1942 so 1942 is the year of launch of quit india movement and quit india movement was suppressed by the britishers very brutally so it ended within few months so what is the difference between non cooperation and civil disobedience movement first of all non cooperation here it was only not to cooperate with the british whereas civil disobedience movement also included defiance of unjust british laws so both the movements non cooperation and civil disobedience movement were the one which were led by the nationalist leaders whereas quit india was 
ऑल्दो इनिशिएटेड बाय महात्मा गांधी बट इट वॉज बेसिकली लीडरलेस मूवमेंट वी आर द मासिस लेट द क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट द वे फेल्ट दे वर राइट सो नो वॉट वॉज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री मूवमेंट्स नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट इट वॉज द मूवमेंट विच इंस्टिल द कॉन्फिडेंस इन द इंडियंस दैट दे कैन डेफिनेटली दे कैन थ्रो द ब्रिटिश रूल अवे फ्रॉम इंडिया इट ब्रॉट हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी फिल्ड द पीपल्स माइंड विद पेट्रियोटिज्म the congress was no more a deliberative party it was a party which was ready to take actions as well if we talk about the impact of the civil disobedience movement here the women also participated the people from the lower caste they were able to get rights to visit the temples and to fetch water from the wells there were new methods of propaganda that were used during the time like prabhat feri then handwritten patrika then manjar sena vanar sena these were the new methods of propaganda that was used in the civil disobedience movement if we talk about the quit india movement here the britishers had understood one thing that the days in india are over and they cannot rule over indian without their wishes and here comes the role of jp narayan who was the leader of the congress socialist party who became one of the most prominent leader during that time so uh, i hope it will be helpful thank you